Indiana today reported almost a thousand new positive cases of COVID-19 and 18 new deaths. The seven day average for the positivity rate is 6.6%. And while the governor says that number is starting to plateau, the goal is under 5%. So he is extending the statewide mask mandate through September 25th. We're going to continue to have to educate and work with locals and encourage more signage and lead by example. And the list just goes on and on and on. But I mean, there are some folks who don't believe it um, helps. I would I would disagree and offer um, science as, as the uh, counter argument to that. The state health commissioner says the spread is greater in counties where the mask mandate is often being ignored. I know it's frustrating, um, but reality is reality and we have to do what we can do as Hoosiers to decrease the spread of this virus until we have a vaccine that's highly effective and people are vaccinated. Um, or medications that we could potentially treat this virus with. And we don't have either right now. So for right now, we have to deal with where we are. Starting next Wednesday, the state will provide a color-coded county map indicating the level of spread of the coronavirus. The color is determined by a score based on new cases, the positivity rate, and the week-to-week -week change in positivity rate in that county. The color comes with recommendations to schools on in-person or remote learning. Our large group activities should be considered. Well, it turns out that six feet may not be enough. That's the finding of a new study out today on social distancing. They're saying that six feet is the minimum we should distance ourselves from others to keep from getting COVID-19. Researchers from MIT and the University of Oxford say you need to keep several other factors in mind. They include things like ventilation, crowd size, exposure time, and whether masks are worn. Well, the CDC says you may not need to get tested for COVID-19 if you've been exposed to it. Now, that's part of the guidance the Centers for Disease Control quietly updated earlier this week. So it now states you don't need a test if you're not showing COVID symptoms. The state health commissioner said today, if you've been in close contact with someone with COVID-19, you should get a test. Marion County now really is hoping to avoid a repeat of the lines that we experienced in the June primary. So for Decision 2020, they announced today there will be more voting places, more voting touch screens, and more early voting sites, all as we lead up to the election in November. The long lines, long waits, and an avalanche of last-minute absentee ballots really are hard for us to forget from June. Today, the Marion County Election Board approved its November election game plan. We know there will now be five early voting sites compared to just one for the last presidential election. There were also only 22 polling sites for the election in June. This time around, however, there's going to be a whopping 188. And it's also going to include some really big venues, places like Bankers Life Fieldhouse, Lucas Oil Stadium. And what we anticipated preventing is long lines after the polls close on election day, uh, when the polls close at 6. And I think it will also reduce long lines throughout the day. Workers are already processing 20,000 requests for absentee ballots, and they tell us they're getting them for 1,000 more requests every single day.